The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is discovering more damage at the reactor containment vessel. It says it is going to take steps to avoid further contamination in the area. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa reports. Engineers are investigating leaks in several places in the container that holds nuclear fuel. The plant's water circulation system was destroyed in the aftermath of the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Workers have been injecting more than four tons of water an hour into the vessel to cool the nuclear fuel. In November, crews using a robot equipped with a camera discovered two leaks in the lower part of the containment vessel. They estimate that more than three tons of water may be leaking every hour. The engineers have also learned that more than one ton of water is leaking from elsewhere. They plan to send in the robot again to search for other possible problems. They say they'll expand their search to include the suppression chamber linked to the containment vessel. At the same time, workers are trying to contain leaked and leaking radioactive wastewater on the site. In February, they will test how much radioactive strontium, an absorbent material placed underground, can remove from leaked wastewater. Workers will dig a 20-meter deep hole near the leaking tank and bury the absorbent. The measure proved effective at the U.S. nuclear facility. However, some believe it won't be as successful with the salty water that has accumulated at the Fukushima plant. Tokyo Electric plans to assess the test results to decide by late February whether to fully introduce the absorbent. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World.